This is just the beginning. Like, this is the very beginning of almost all your life. We want to talk about bullying a little bit. And second of all, to bring in The Rock. Can I care for The Rock? Hope isn't really what I want to face right now. This love is getting me upside down. But she said, the weight of my head is dragging me down. So I'm better off dead. Go take a minute, just a little time to waste my life. Keep thinking about the weight of my crime. But what did you find? Imperfect enough to save your life. that were different. I was always kind of drawn to that, so I would just be friends with whoever. I found if I said something, that's usually all it took. You watch those movies where the kid gets stuff in a locker, he gets locked in, he's like screaming, goes home and like cries his eyes out. That's honestly not a cliche. Stuff like that does happen. Just be who you are and you'll get through it. There's plenty of times where I just was, you know, thinking I'd never get through it. As you've heard all our stories, you know, it. It's, uh, it's something that nobody needs to experience. One band stands out by using their talent to promote anti-bullying. The four band members are now making even more of a name for themselves by visiting Alberta schools to talk about bullying. I think a lot of times when you are being bullied or you're kind of the outcast, uh, you feel like you have nowhere to go and that no one understands where you're coming from. So from our perspective, you know, doing what we do, we go into these schools and a lot of kids actually can relate and be like, you know what, there's actually people that go through this. It is a Calgary success story that has been several years in the making. A Calgary rock brand is proving that with a lot of hard work and dedication, you can make your dreams come true. The members formed this band kind of as a way to escape being bullied in high school. Joining us now is Seventh Rain, Ryan Williams, Phil Grossi, Rich McFarlane, and Luke Shepard. Welcome, yeah. guys. During high school, that was a big turning point. It was where I finally realized, you know, I didn't want to pick my friends based on who was cool. It was who had similar interests, and, you know, I just took people for who they were. And lucky enough, I got along with Phil and, and Rich, but, f I mean, Phil was really bullied in school, and, you know, that didn't matter to me. And we became great friends, played football together, and had a passion for music. But bullying and taking the message to school is very, very important to you guys. Why is that, and what do you do? It most definitely is important because uh, when you get to that situation where you are bullied, you feel that no one understands, uh, no one can relate to you, and you're kind of alone. Stop pretending that you care If you're seeing bullying done, your job is you should say something. Because you know it's wrong. You should say something. It'll change everything. 